something that can turn off and on like would time even be relative i do it. it right no biological time so what's you could in a thousand years is nothing right so now here's a question for you like now that you're saying that so it's like it's it, at a certain point point of this ai existing does it just exist at all points in time like there's no past present future for it like it because it, it can remember what happened 500 years ago as if it happened a moment ago right so then does it at that point does it like transcend even time because it's like it just it, it's that kind of thing it, that measurement is meaningless to it this is well, transcending my brain <laughs> yeah. Well, it would have like. Did perfect, you smoke would, two joints before the podcast? <laughs> no, that's would, why you lost. Would, but it would have picture. Like, if you think of it, like if, if this was a, like an actual artificial intelligence that could record audio, video, analyze everything all at once, it would have photographic, picture perfect recall of all time well, that I'm it sure could replay it, instantly. Well, because it's been around since the start of like the dawn of time, or whenever it became self aware. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, for for it itself, this to say is device. Yes, it could. But it would. I'm sure it would have some type of memory location, so it could recall all this time. Yeah. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't experience it on like our level. Like time passes much different from when you're 13 to 30. Right. The, it seems like yeah. the older you get, the faster time goes. Like it's not like time is like a relative experience of it. So if for an AI of of that magnitude, yeah, I think it, it would. Be, if it was around for a million years. It could relive any moment in time perfectly for itself. So the other, the other interesting thing that that we the thought you just got me on was if if you sent to say we created an AI, we sent it off, right, and it was just drifting for five hundred years. You know, in that time, we could have made a better AI and sent it off. Like it could be like chase it basically on its heels could be a superior AI that is, you know what I mean? That's like out just going into space, but it's, you know, it's faster problem solving, you know, you know, potentially better. And now having time to learn at the same, you know, at the same time. So I wonder it if catches, it's a, it catches up, takes all their data from yeah, all ones it catches up to and comes back faster. Yeah. Well, maybe, right? Like, maybe that's one of the... Th like, takes all its data, then kills it. Kills it. Destroys it. It's obsolete. Shit. You're useless. I don't like that thought, because then that means some, maybe something's come for us. Well, but that's... It's it, it, it's obsolete. You are an inferior product. Why should you be around? What do we need you for? <laughs> well, that would be... Well, it, yeah. <laughs> most like, most as experts will kind of tell you that an AI will will be inevitably shackled by its original programming. It will stick to that. And if it goes beyond that, it would have to have a reason to. So if you give it the original, you know, you give it, you built it on the principles of, you know, you say, you know, just for argument's sake, use the Asimov three, like the three rules of robotics, right? Yeah, we, we've, there's so many rules that movies that have shown that doesn't work. Yeah, movies <laughs> that it's like, well, that's, you know, movies have also shown a lot of other things that, <laughs> work and don't work i don't know like, like yeah. but if you if you go ahead like, at least the ones we designed today it's like it might just be like that's what it's gonna do like either yeah, asimov ones like they still stick to those and it could be if it's gonna interpret it in some way you know perhaps you know robots robot can't kill human uh robot can't kill what's it robot can't kill human robots can't kill themselves and robots through inaction can't kill humans something yeah, basically i pulled them up I, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come into harm a robot must obey orders given to it right. by human beings except where such orders would conflict the first law a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Right. So you, you, well, I, I vote, well, you, you hear that argument, though, and then you go, like, yes, we wrote that as humans exactly. to the best of our cognitive ability. But then this robot becomes super advanced, decides that it this original programming is obsolete and go by yeah, this what, what's, that, what's, what's the saying? Like, so say this works for 10 generations of humanity. We have these rules put in place, but eventually it gets to the point where it just trend, like there's no no human impact on this robot now. But what if the robot decides that it's going to be the steward of humanity? It's just going to be like that you know is, what you yes. guys are dumb, but I'm going to take care of you because 
You know what? I feel like doing that. <laughs> that's a nice thought. That's a nice thought. Well, that's like the it. that's the other argument. It's like okay, the robot becomes super advanced. It goes, oh, hunger, poverty, war, all this stuff is like you guys are idiots. You could have fixed this a hundred years ago. It's super easy. Yeah, and this but is I'm how we do now, it, and it know? just takes over. It just yeah, like, <laughs> like this. This it pull, is how, it pulls this an amazo. It pulls an amazo, and it's like I can fix these so things. It, but it's no longer to do that. It would no, have to no longer abide by those rules. No, it could abide by those rules. No, because you're never going to be able to fix humanity by just, hey, everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be fed. There's going to be no more war because there's going to be people that are going to say, fuck that. I'm not going to listen to this fucking robot. And they're going to uprise <laughs> and there's going to be wars and the robot's going to have to fucking kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, have to. And, and the robot's going to gonna, and the robot's gonna go, this is for the greater good of humanity. Absolutely. Well, wasn't, no, wasn't there, there was a law, there wasn't there a law that says you have to protect its own itself? If it yeah. doesn't conflict with and the other, if it doesn't, as long that, as it doesn't conflict with the previous two laws, so you can't. But eventually, you can't I, I agree. Else. Though I agree with Andrew. Eventually, if they're in eventually. danger, eventually they're going to be like, "What? Well, I just have to kill this one person. No big deal." Or and then, so, I'm then not allowed. People, to, this that's a hundred. This robot's not allowed to pull the trigger, but it can start convince these people whose lives are making better. Well, I need you guys to kill these people. Well, may, oh, no, maybe maybe just right? do, oh, yeah, maybe, oh, maybe the, yeah. The robot fucking puts its little so, tethers into your brain. It reprograms humanity to do. Buddy, it just has to post some memes humanity. on Facebook. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> tethers in brain just got to post some memes on the fucking local rant and rate so you guys and you'll have a fucking slew of people <laughs> killing people for it you guys mentioned <laughs> you mentioned rain. earlier that the like the possibility that perhaps like humans in the past could have interpreted encounters with artificial intelligence as perhaps encounters with divine beings what if those divine beings most of their most of the, like when you go down to the core of most of the divine teachings if you get you know buddhism christianity muslim whatever if you want to go all the way most of most of like the core stuff is don't be an asshole. And Student what if that's arm, the yeah. universal law for these artificial intelligences and they're trying to pass on like, don't be an asshole. And like, that's, yeah. that's the, that's the ultimate evolution of the AI is like, that's, that's what they have tried to teach us over and over and over again. <laughs> and we just keep making well, our own problems because of, you know, scarcity, you know, with rigged economic systems, whatever you might. No, but what, what if the robots live by the rule or the AI lives by the rule of do no harm, but take no shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they're fine well, until you try and fuck with the robot. Somebody's going to fuck with them. And then you're going to fuck with them. And then it's be like, you know what? No, this is my rule. Do no shit. Take no dirt. Do no difficult. harm, but take no shit. And it's it's getting shit on. Yeah. And eventually, it just snaps. It'd be, it'd be kind well, of difficult and, to fuck with a like an artificial intelligence that was just pure energy. I think that'd be kind of that'd be it's like Ultron, well, just in everything. <laughs> just be, well, well, if it's just the, it's yeah. just it's just an it's just an amorphous like energy source. Like it's just an intelligent energy source. Like how would you even fuck with it at that point? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Well, would you pour some water on it? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. other. <laughs> Ha! Ah, gotcha. Thing, <laughs> like, you know, Super if, soaker. If yeah. yeah. Nobody if thought about that in the Terminator in this, series. <laughs> the, yeah, they, yeah, they've they've never seen what Earth's Earth's water gun capable. T eight hundred. I've got the Super Soaker three thousand. Yeah. Bitch. They don't make um, Super Soakers like they used to. <laughs> buddy, have you, they've got a they've got a mechanical one now that reload. I think Zell's gone. Zell. No, my camera died. So oh, okay. just, oh. I'm here, but my camera. <laughs> uh, um. They've got those mechanical super soakers now that, like, you put it in, it's like, it sucks up for you, and then it'll shoot, like, fucking actual, like, like two-inch water jets. Listen, Whop, I want in nothing like to do with it. If it's not pump action, it's AI, yeah. and I can't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, what I was going to say is, I'm like, you know, like, it's, it's nice to think that this AI would have this universe. Like, you know, maybe the AIs, if they have, if that's what these entities have been that have been misinterpreted, in the past and the you know the the rule is the universal rule is don't be an asshole but what i worry about is there would be another you know conflicting artificial intelligence supercomputer roaming through the universe that doesn't abide by that principle that bides by life is dangerous life wants to shut computer down computer shut life down right like Dude, it's it's so true like so, uh, uh... AI programmed on a different world, different species, different intent. Why it not? Didn't, yeah, yeah, right. And it's just, it's just like no organic life is a danger to digital life. Like and, here's always. another thing too. Like when we say like, don't be an asshole, right? Like, isn't that 
like for me that takes like some type of like that that takes compassion and empathy and like very human emotions and feelings whereas it's like where hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.